During last week's summit between Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Donald Trump, Putin gifted Trump the ball that was used in the previous day's World Cup championship in Russia. Putin acknowledged that the United States will co-host the World Cup in 2026. He said, Mr. President I'll give this ball to you, and now the ball is in your court, as he handed the ball to the president. Trump responded, we do host it and we hope we do as good as a job. That's very nice. That will go to my son Baron. We have no question. In fact, Melania, here you go. He then tossed the ball to his wife in the front row. Melania missed, the ball bounced on the floor and was grabbed by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo who was seated next to the First Lady. Pompeo handed the ball to Melania who received it with a smile. Senator Lindsey Graham, our South Carolina, tweeted in response writing, Finally, if it were me, I'd check the soccer ball for listening devices and never allow it in the White House. It appears there was actually a chip in the ball, but it was not placed there by Russian spy agencies, instead, it is an advertised feature of the ball made by Adidas. The chip is used by fans to access player videos and other content when they bring a mobile device near the ball equipped with the chip. The logo on the ball indicates that it had a ship installed when manufactured. It remains unclear if it might have been possible for the Russians to remove the pre-installed chip to install a more nefarious chip. It is theoretically possible for the chip to attack a nearby phone but Linus Newman, a spokesman for the Hamburg-based Chaos Computer Club, a collective of hackers, said that such a multi-stepped hacking attack using the gifted ball would be unlikely. Newman said, Trump would have to ignore multiple security warnings and intentionally install a malware on his device. He added that the success of this sort of hack would depend on the president falling for a silly attack like this.